Every year I try to fill up the Easter baskets early, but for some reason I just can't get it done until a couple days before. So let me show you what's in this year's Easter baskets. After taking everything out of the bag, I get the grass out, which I save every single year. I stuff the bottoms of the baskets with bags, put the grass in there, and start filling in their baskets. Bigger items in the back and smaller items go in the front. Little socks and their, her glove, bubbles, one piece of chocolate, and her basket's done. Then I go ahead and do his, do the same thing, and he has different things. He has sidewalk chalk in his. They both got bubble guns and Play-Doh and little pieces of candy. Oh, and I got him a bow tie, and that's it. I haven't gotten them these since they were little, but hopefully they still like them. But they're water beads, and I thought it would be fun to put in an egg, which will go in their Easter basket. Cindy Boo used to love playing with water beads, but you put them in water overnight and then they get really squishy. Instead of filling all the eggs up with just candy, in the past I've done tattoos, I've done stickers. Um, I even saw that you can buy like a little Lego set and put one Lego in each egg or a couple of Legos in each egg. And when they find all of the eggs, then they can build whatever was in the Lego box, which I thought was pretty cool. We are doing something a little bit different with the egg hunt this year. My kids are definitely growing up because they asked me to put money inside their Easter eggs. I got a boatload of quarters and I put one, two, three, and four quarters in different eggs. So we will use this for our egg hunt this weekend. I try to fill up their baskets with things from three different categories, which is wants, needs, and eats or candy. More so on the needs. I really try to plump it up with things that they already need, things that we need to get for spring and for summer. So clothes and shoes, um, toothbrushes. I love doing a summer themed one where I put bathing suits and flip flops in there. I also like to put books um, or new art supplies, which they always tend to need around this time. And that's a wrap for this year's Easter baskets. I will see you guys next time, but I'd love to hear what you put in yours. So leave a comment and let me know.